2023 Genesis G90 Review, Greatness for a Bargain. When the Lexus LS first launched in 1989, it changed the luxury car industry forever. The original LS gave the German luxury stalwarts their first real outside challenge and I imagine the new 2023 Genesis G90 will do the very same thing, 33 years later. The Genesis G90 is now in its second generation and has been given a comprehensive overhaul with which it will take on Mercedes, BMW, and Audi. Quite a bit has changed with the second gen G90. Genesis' most luxurious car now has a new engine, some new exterior design elements, new interior features, and a suite of tech upgrades. All of those changes make the G90 a genuine rival for the mainstream German luxury brands. If Mercedes S-Class and BMW 7 Series customers are open-minded enough to check out a value brand like Genesis, this new G90 could have an original LS-like impact on the industry. Genesis has been taking on the Germans for quite a few years now. While it's been trying since its mainstream parent company first launched Genesis as a pair of Hyundai models, the Hyundai Genesis and Genesis Coupe, rather than the separate luxury brand it is today, it's only really been on par with Mercedes and BMW for the past few years. Recent cars like the Genesis G70, G80, and GV70 all proved that Hyundai's luxury arm could not only compete on the world stage but excel. Six-figure luxury cars are a different ballgame, however, one that Mercedes has dominated with its S-Class for decades. So the idea that Genesis, which is still fairly new, can come in and challenge the top dog for luxury car supremacy might seem a bit overly ambitious at first. However, people said that about Lexus back in 1989, too. One look at the Genesis G90 and you know it's something special. Genesis seems to be the only brand that can do big grills properly, as the G90's grille is enormous and yet somehow not obnoxious. Its split headlights not only visually run through the front fenders but, if you follow their lines, line up with the taillights as well, creating a lovely continuity. The taillights look great themselves, with sharp blade-like edges while the subtly flared rear wheel arches add some visual muscle. And those wheels. My god, those wheels. Inside, the Genesis G90 will quite literally wow its passengers. The sweeping dashboard design, gorgeous open pore wood trim, rich feeling and smelling leather, soft Alcantara, and Killer Bang and Olufsen sound system make the G90 a genuine treat for all the senses. The seats are superbly comfortable, both front and back, the technology is easy to use and looks great, and there are some genuinely cool tech features. If you want to impress your friends, the G90 is a great car to do so with. One of the G90's main attractions is its power closing doors, which close on their own with the push of a button. My five-year-old son thought that was some Jedi stuff, sitting in the back seat and being able to close his own door with a button on the center armrest. After driving the G90 around for a week, closing my own doors feels like it's for the plebs. But the G90 is loaded with quirky cool features. The 3D digital gauges are delightful, with incredibly cool graphics, like the fiery gauge needles in sport mode and the night mode once the automatic headlights come on. Another neat feature is the speaker in the driver's headrest, which tells them their navigation directions, so cabin noise or music doesn't overpower them. That same speaker is also where the turn signal noise comes from, which is unusual but quirky and fun.